In this video I'm going to talk about importing WMFs. Just select Edit, Import WMF, and then select the file to import, and it will show you a representation of the WMF. These are the number of objects that it found, number of records that it processed. It doesn't support uh, bitmaps for importing bitmaps, just the basic Windows made of file objects. It, WMFs can have embedded MFs, and if it detects that, it won't import that. And then it'll also report if there's if it found any errors, and it didn't find any errors in this. So if we select OK, it imports the the image, and it's a grouped element, so you can't drag it to resize it, but you could use scaling. scale it. If you wanted to edit the individual objects for animation, you could use the group editor. As you see, it shows you which, as, the, as it changes over here, it shows you which element you're, you're working with. WMFs can, can consume thousands and thousands of elements. As, as you see in this one, when looking at the editor, it uses polyline, the basic polyline, for all of its elements. As you see, as it goes across those islands, each little dot is a is really a polygon. So, importing it can be uh, good, and you can use it for graphics. Just be aware that it can take up a lot of memory and a lot of, of um, resources when it may be easier to just draw it using the using the default tools. Another way to get a WMF into the HMI is via copy and paste. So this is paint and that's that same WMF opened up. We're going to select area select copy select copy we're going to paste it. And now this WMF pasted is a complete WMF. It's not parsed. As we see, it parses it and then it scales, scales pretty nicely. We can also paste it and convert it into a bitmap. And there's the actual size, as you see, that was copied from the MS Paint program. And it scales okay too. It scales a little bit better as a WMF. So those are the two ways to bring in or import a WMF.